I just allowed it. Um, yeah. Mikula says you, you can, um, in the meantime, you can start the webinar. And... I did. I started the webinar now. Okay, great. But it's already recording. You probably have to. Okay, let me share my screen. There we go. I guess we should give it a few minutes. I see oh, yeah, there are some attendees, attendees. now. Yeah. Yes, I just clicked on uh, um, start the webinar. So. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I'm hoping you can see me and hear me, <laughs> if you can. Uh, sorry, we opened the webinar just uh, exactly on time, but we'll be starting just a few minutes, letting some people uh, uh, join us. <clears throat> Okay, hi everybody. Um, uh, if I can just uh, ask you to let me know if you can uh, see me and hear me. That'll be great, please. Making sure everything is good. All right, good. Uh, thank you, everyone. All right, so um, we'll get going. Sorry, we opened up the webinar room just a little bit uh, late, uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully. Uh, it'll go smoother now. <laughs> All right, this webinar is obviously being recorded, so don't worry, you'll get a a, a recording, uh, link to the recording uh, probably by tomorrow. So welcome everyone to today's webinar. Um, this is a, a part one of uh, three webinars that we're going to be doing. Today, uh, we're going to be giving a very, very uh, high level overview of the Auto Chartist uh, suite of tools uh, provided by Ticknell to you. Um, first thing you got to know is that um, we're here to learn. No one's here to sell you anything. Uh, this uh, product, this analysis product is available to you free with a live account at Tickmill. So uh, everyone, don't worry. No one's trying to pitch you anything. Uh, so uh, before we get going, let's talk about a disclaimer, which I've got on the screen at the moment. Uh, so uh, trading uh, CFDs uh, on a margin, uh, account carries a high level of risk and may not be suitable for all investors. Uh, so um, please just uh, be be careful when when trading uh, CFDs and spot FX. Uh, for the full disclaimer, you can read it on the screen. All right. So uh, first things first, what are we discussing today? Um, uh, we're discussing a tool called Auto Charters, and it's available if you um, uh, look on the Tickmill. Uh, platform and the tools auto chartist um, auto chartist it really does does two things it uh, tries to identify uh, trading opportunities for you in the market that's interesting trade setups uh, based on technicals and statistical analysis uh, and it also assists you in uh, mitigating your risk so uh, it, uh, it can uh, show you how to set stop, stop loss levels and take profit levels based on your uh, risk profile. And I'll give you a very brief overview today of both of those uh, features. So um, in order to get the tool, you can just go onto the Tecmo website, go into client tools, uh, order chartist, and then 
uh, you'll see there's a number of different ways. Obviously, after it lists all the features and benefits, you can go to Auto Chartist, you can download the MT4 plugin, uh, which is a thing that I'm going to be demoing for you today. There's also some uh, some ebooks and user manuals and, and video links on this page. Uh, but uh, I think the most important thing for you to do is uh, click on the install MT4 uh, uh, plugin button, um, and that will uh, download and install uh, Expert Advisor in, um, in MetaTrader as well as an indicator called, called the Auto Charter Service Calculator. So um, we're going to talk about the Expert Advisor first. Right? Um, this Expert Advisor, what you do is you drag and drop it onto your chart. And uh, in within a matter of a few seconds, you should get a whole list of, um, of information here um, on the screen. So what Auto Charters does is it scans all the instruments in your market watch window uh, for trade setups across all the different timeframes from 15 minutes and higher. So for example, um, uh, uh, we opened it up in EURUSD four hourly charts, and you can see that Auto Charters has identified the support and resistance levels drawn in green and provided a target region or a target area for, uh, for uh, EURUSD on the four hour chart. Now, if we, for example, uh, want to look at um, this USD JPY H1 chart, we click on the view button and it would come up with uh, this uh, opportunity over here, you can see that uh, USD JPY has had a, a massive rally up on the hourly chart. Uh, and so this is potentially an opportunity uh, to go short if it's uh, overbought right now on USD JPY. The whole idea here is um, unlike what you normally get with, um, uh, with uh, when you open up MetaTrader, you get a uh, lots of different uh, uh, charts and panels to to work on, and uh, you know many traders get very confused. What do I look at? Which indicators do I do I add? Moving averages, RSI, Bollinger Bands, uh, stochastics. There's so many different types of indicators. What we're doing with order charters is really trying to simplify the trading process. And we're trying to say, okay. Uh, you've got these uh, list of instruments which you're potentially interested in in the market watch window. Uh, let's set up a list for you of the uh, kind of a very high level list of the types of opportunities available for you uh, right now. So it's less about trying to figure out what to do yourself and more about letting the tool guide you, right? And so uh, if you use audit charts, you only really need uh, one screen to trade on and you don't need uh, multiple, uh, multiple windows. So um, I'll go into some of the filtering uh, configurations, um, et cetera, but let's just have a, a quick uh, browse through uh, the kinds of trading opportunities that Auto Chartist identifies. Okay, the first one I wanna look at is this one on Euro NZD, which is what we call a breakout horizontal level. So Auto Chartist has identified a uh, resistance level, right? A psychological level in the market uh, that the market has retested again and again and again. Let me show you, let me annotate my screen for you uh, to show you what, what that is. So you can see this consolidation at this level, at this level, at this level, right? Lots of consolidation at that green line. And so now there was a breakout through that line. And so there's a, a, a possibility that the price will continue moving up to this gray area that Auto Charters has uh, provided us. Okay, um, so you can see that whenever we have a forecast, Autochars provides a gray area, which we call that the target region, right? Or the forecast region for that, for that price. So these are what we call horizontal levels, okay? They are also um, what we call emerging horizontal levels. So a level that's been tested in the past, and let me show you what I mean by that. Um, so you can see it was tested numerous times in the past over here, over here, over here, a kind of on these levels over here. And now the price is moving towards this level. It has not yet broken through, right? If it breaks through the level, then we'll get a forecast region. But right now it's still moving towards this level. And so this is what we call an emerging or approaching uh, um, uh, 
resistance level, right? It's marked as a gray icon. The, the, the breakouts are marked as colored icons and the gray icons are the emerging patterns, right? And I'll show, and I'll talk about how to, um, uh, 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 look at that uh, in in a second. So I've got a um, I've got something. So it would be very nice if you drag your video pop up lower. Uh, I'm not in control of my video pop up. Um, is it possible maybe that you can do that on on your screen, uh, or I can stop my video completely? Maybe that'll help. Um, is 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 Uru, is this um, uh, better if uh, I have no video at all? I hope it is. Great. Okay, fine. So you guys don't want to look at me. That's fine. I, I, I get the insults. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, so, um, uh, uh, um, uh, he, he, so those are the two, two types of trading opportunities. Let's look at a few more. Okay. Um, there's an, a few more pages here. Let's look at a channel up, Euro USD channel up. Here we go. So now that's the one I showed you earlier. So it looked like there was a, a trend in a, um, a, a trend uh, going upwards, and then there was a breakout on the short side, uh, and you can see the price is moving quite nice between support resistance. A very very nice uh, breakout, very l big long breakout candle, uh, and we provided a target price. Uh, a target region over here. Um, the price has subsequently turned around a little bit. Um, I wouldn't panic as yet. Um, this is common, uh, very common to see in financial instruments, right? Prices never go up and down continuously, uh, or they never go down all the time. They go up and they go down. So right now, uh, I would say the previous uh, stop loss was at around this level where I've drawn now. So it hasn't hit that, hit that yet potentially still a chance it'll go down to this level. Otherwise, close, if you did open up this position, you can close it up and say, well, we made the wrong, made the wrong forecast. And I'll talk about uh, trading statistics in just a moment of, you know, I'm sure you all are thinking how well or how badly does auto charters do? And we'll talk about that in just a bit. Right now, I just want to walk through uh, some of the different chart patterns uh, that we identify. The next one, which I find really, really uh, 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 Interesting for me is this: um, these chart patterns uh, called uh, big movements. Uh, for me, uh, this is one of the 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 the, the most useful ones uh, for me personally. Uh, what these uh, big movements are um, is an indication that the price has been has moved an exceptional uh, amount for that instrument. So, order charters keeps in its uh, little brain. Um, an understanding of what is a regular movement for every instrument and what is an irregular or an exceptional movement. So the reason it's come up with this opportunity here, USDJPY one hour, is because it's telling us that this opportunity here specifically is an exceptional movement. A, uh, 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 it happened over 15 uh, 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 candles and was an exceptionally large movement. That means it's in the 98th percentile. So this type of movement size only happens uh, twice in approximately twice in every 100 moves. This size opportunity happens, which means that the likelihood um, of it uh, continuing this is, is very small, right? And so you can see what actually happened. It reached this level and now Now there's been uh, quite a, a nice little turnaround as it projects movements. You can actually set order charters to watch for large market movements for you. And you can clearly see that a lot of stuff is happening on, on JPY right now. You can see that also something on Euro JPY. Same kind of opportunity on Euro JPY, uh, very, very uh, large, um, exceptionally large movement. Now that's just an, an idea of some of the kind of patterns that we identify. Um, we identify a lot more, of course. Um, so we identify things like emerging chart patterns, uh, which are quite interesting. I'm gonna untick some of the others for you uh, and show you what those are. So uh, let's see what that looks like, an emerging falling wedge. So what we can see over here is that the price has been moving between support mm -hmm. and resistance. And the price has not yet broken through the support or resistance line. It's still trading within a regular trading range, right? Within the accepted trading range. So 
um, this is a type of trade setup uh, which is maybe for a slightly more sophisticated trader. Uh, these are emerging chart patterns because uh, they happen uh, uh, quite frequently and you have to watch the market very, very carefully uh, when trading them because they happen and then they disappear because the price breaks through uh, quite uh, soon after uh, the identification of this pattern. But they're interesting in that they provide you the ability to take almost like a preemptive uh, position on the market. Uh, so let me show you what, what I mean. Uh, here's an example on... Um, on uh, EuroCAD H4. Now, I don't like that one. I want to see if there's anything else I can see an example on. Okay, here we go. I like this one. So here is an example on Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar on the four hourly chart. And you can see that the price is moving between support and resistance. So uh, for the uh, for the less experienced traders among us, you might think, okay, well, this is an opportunity to take a position right now long. Okay, and that could very well be. So you might go ahead and go a new order um, uh, uh, buy at market. Okay, that's what you might do and wait for the price to go up to that level. However, um, uh, maybe some of the more uh, experienced traders might look at this and say, um, maybe that's not the ideal way of, of trading this position. Maybe what we should do is set a pending order, right? And by pending order, I mean a buy stop order. A buy stop order means that you wait for the price to hit this level. And when it crosses that level, then take a long position, okay? So what that would look like is you would say maybe um, uh, a pending order, a buy stop at uh, what price? At a level of uh, 1.08475. Uh, uh, right? So now what would happen, you can see I don't actually have a position in the market. I'm waiting for the price to hit that level and then it would take a long position. Right? Or if you think that the price is going to do what it did in the past, which is just rebound off this level, as it did in the past, then what you could do is you can obviously um, take a, uh, a sell limit order, right? So if the price hits this level, then actually take a short position. Again, so lots of different ways to trade these types of emerging chart patterns, right? These are these gray icons. Um, again, I only recommend these for the more experienced uh, traders uh, that are uh, listening uh, to this uh, to this webinar if i was just a a, a kind of a, a newer entrant into the market certainly look at the uh, completed chart patterns and the and the breakout key levels now we also do uh, uh, identify things like fibonacci patterns and um, let's see if we have any fibonacci patterns available in the market right now okay so we do have a few let's see what they look like okay so Here's a Fibonacci pattern. Now I know there's a ton of lines. Yes, uh, don't uh, don't worry, uh, because I know that only the very experienced traders among you would be playing uh, Fibonacci patterns. So what this uh, Fibonacci pattern is telling us is that this is a emerging three drive pattern, and um, it's aiming for the end of this little blue line over here. So what we're doing is we're aiming for that uh, end of that blue line. So if we have a uh, a, a move up to that level, then we can expect a pullback down towards um, uh, the uh, uh, the other Fibonacci levels, right? So in this situation, you would set um, obviously a sell limit order uh, to get into this market, right? So a sell limit um, up to this uh, the end of this um, little uh, uh, dotted uh, blue blue line. Okay, uh, and now don't get scared if you don't understand that. I'm. Uh, this is for you know the very very sophisticated traders uh, among uh, among us today, right? My default search criteria uh, personally uh, are these: the breakout chart patterns, the key levels, and the uh, approaching key levels. And I want to show you uh, one or two little tricks that I've found work for me. All right. Oh, why do we still have Fibonacci patterns in there? Whoops, let me untick that. Okay, so um, the first thing is I very rarely trade against the trend. 
Uh, so let me find you uh, an example of this. So in this example on your USD H4, um, when the trend is bullish and the breakout is bearish, although this is in fact a officially a technical chart pattern because um, uh, that's what the technical analysis books say, I am not uh, a, a person that trades against the trend. I look at the prevailing trend and I trade with the trend. So this is not a position I would have taken unless it was followed up by another very uh, um, distinct and clear bearish candle, uh, uh, right, to basically confirm the trend. But just a touch of that line and again a turnaround, for me, that is not sufficient to take a position uh, on an on a opportunity like that. Let's look at this opportunity on NZDJPY. Uh, again, uh, one candle breakout. Um, I am not sure whether this is something I would take again because uh, I see the prevailing trend is uh, 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 bullish. Uh, would I trade against the breakout, uh, against the tr prevailing trend? Mm, I, I'm not entirely sure uh, about that. So uh, my objective when I'm trading chart patterns, right, which are these kind of patterns over here, um, I trade, I try trade with uh, with the trend, okay. Uh, that that's kind of my little trick. Although I must say that my favorite types of patterns are definitely the breakout resistance and uh, the uh, a breakout support and resistance and the or the emerging support and resistance. Those are by far my favorite ones. And I'll show you the the statistics uh, in just in just a moment. Um, in fact, you know what? Uh, maybe I should show you that right now before I move on to my next topic. So if you want to see how well AutoChart has done in the past, it's very simple. You click on this little uh, little uh, world icon and you copy and paste the performance stats uh, link into a web browser. And when you do that, you will get something that looks like this. Um, and you'll see all the statistics. So we have stats for completed chart patterns or breakout chart patterns, the breakout key levels and uh, approaching key levels. Now, uh, why only for those and not for things like Fibonacci patterns and uh, emerging uh, chart patterns? That's because these are the only three types of patterns for which we provide target regions. Right? Let me show you that again in Meta. So uh, my uh, default uh, selections are the ones for which you get uh, statistics, except I add big movements in there because I want to be notified personally about exceptionally large movements in the market, right? But otherwise, those are the pat those are the the um, types of trade setups where we actually give distinct uh, target uh, uh, or uh, target levels, right? And we can look at the technical chart patterns, the details of those. And when we drill in, we'll see that over the last six months, um, uh, we identified about 31,000 of them, about 20,000 hit their target region. That's on average about 66%. But it's more interesting to, to look into that specifically, right? So um, what has been doing well or what has been doing badly over the last few months? You can see head and shoulders and inverse head and shoulders. I can tell you that um, uh, these are definitely the exception, exceptional performers. Um, uh, they're always doing really, really well. If you see a head and shoulders, an inverse head and shoulders, you should be um, sitting up straight and taking note of those. Uh, the other things that I want to show you are uh, patterns that are also consistently do well, ascending triangles oops, and, and descending triangles double bottoms, double tops, anything that has a, a horizontal component to it does really well. You can see we also provide uh, a, a view on uh, individual instruments, uh, how well and badly we've done over the, uh, over the last six months by hour of day. We do exceptionally well during the European time zone, uh, which is um, uh, not a surprise because um, the, the idea of support and resistance is all about uh, market psychology and psychology plays out when there's lots of participants and obviously London is the capital of the uh, financial world when it comes to foreign currencies 
Um, and uh, that's where all the participants are, are playing in the market. And that's when uh, we have all the, um, all the, the market psychology playing out. Interestingly enough, the statistics get better and better as we go to the right-hand side of these stats. So the breakout key levels, uh, we do uh, very well over the last six months, over 76% hit our target region. <clears throat> um, uh, and, and, uh, and lastly, uh, the uh, approaching uh, uh, key levels uh, have done exceptionally well, 83% on average over the last uh, six months. The thing about, I got to point out about these stats, these stats are not how much money you would have made. It's simply a measure of how often we hit our target region. So for example, for these key levels, let me show you what that looks like inside Meta. For these approaching key levels, that's just this one item over here. Oh, uh, why do I not? Uh, why did it not show me all the key levels? Oh, maybe I don't have all the time intervals stored. Let's see what we've got. Okay, approaching key levels. These are these ones with the gray icons over here, right? So how often do we hit them? Now, um, it says over 80% of the time, but what I wanna show you is there's a, it's a double-edged sword. Um, the stats are a bit skewed because the area uh, that they need to cover to hit the target price is very, very small. So you got to really watch out and be careful when you trade these gray opportunities, these gray icon opportunities, because the opportunities are very quick. They're in the market and out of the market, right? So you got to be really, really quick about them. Uh, so what, uh, uh, what, watch out um, uh, uh, on those things. The, the breakout, um, the breakouts are a little bit more tradable. If you're not uh, watching the market, uh, you know, every minute of the day, uh, the breakout patterns, the, the size of the opportunities is much, much greater. Okay. Now, I want to show you one more thing before I move on to an overview of the risk management. Uh, just by the way, we'll be going into a lot more detail about uh, these things um, in the in our next uh, in our next webinar, right? About actual trading um, uh, trading strategies and how to choose which trades to open and not to open. But we're, we're, today is just an overview, right? So, if you want to access uh, the Order Charter's mobile application in order to get alerts, it's quite simple. Uh, what you do is you open up, uh, you click on that little um, icon, the little cell phone icon. Uh, it'll give you instructions to, to uh, search for order charters in the Google Play Store or App Store. And what you're gonna do then is, is open up that, that, that application and click login using QR code. When you do that, it'll give you a QR code and you can scan it. And there we go, you're inside the order charters mobile application. And this mobile application is based on something called our favorites, which I'll talk about in just a second, because it links in nicely with the statistics I just showed you. So it only shows you the best trading opportunities that you have available for you uh, right now at order charters. Now, the best, how do we classify as the best? Let me get rid of my cell phone. That same feature is actually available to you inside MetaTrader. In fact, it's a premium offering that only a very limited handful of brokers provide. Um, uh, this is this little drop-down icon. I know it's very small and indiscreet, but it's probably one of the most powerful tools we offer. If you click on that little icon and say 60%, what it does is that Auto Charters um, takes the available opportunities, right? That all these available opportunities right now, which is uh, three pages worth, merges them with those statistics I just showed you, and shows you only the uh, the the trade setups that are available right now in the market that have performed 60% or more over the last six months. Again, a very important disclaimer: past performance may not be indicative of future performance. Right? That's always the funny thing with statistics. But certainly, these are the ones, the kind of trade setups that have done really, really well over the last six months. If you go to 65%, you should get even less opportunities. If you go to 
70% uh, you should get a lot less opportunities. Uh, I think probably uh, only one page right now. If you go to 80%, uh, you might not get any. Oh, you, you, okay, so you're looking for a miracle here at over 80%. Okay, so, uh, uh, right, so these are, the stat, these are the patterns or trade setups available in the market right now that have performed, uh, that have hit their target region 80% of the time or better over the last six months. Okay, so this, so now the 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 uh, mobile application, that's the uh, those are the uh, um, uh, opportunities that we show on the mobile application. Let me show you that again, and you can play around with those on the mobile application. You can actually click onto settings, and in there. Uh, you can set your time zone, you can enable or disable push notifications to let you know when things happen. You can specifically choose which instruments you want to get notified on, right? So if you only want to be notified on Swissfranc JPY or uh, Euro, uh, where's Euro USD, you can set no push notifications only on those, um, um, uh, on those, um, uh, instruments that you've selected right um so so this is quite a nice way of of um of getting notified when opportunities happen outside of your of your metatrader okay um uh, uros is asking a question uh how do i find the app i missed that so uros if you go into the uh, uh tickmill website and you click on client tools auto chartist, uh, you'll get to a section called MT4 plugin and you can install the plugin from there. And there's no need to log in or register or anything. If you are a live account holder with Tickmill, you get free access to it. And here it is over here in the auto chartist, um, in the, uh, as an auto chartist expert advisor. And don't worry, it does not trade on your behalf. Uh, okay, it's an expert advisor, but it doesn't trade on your behalf. Right. Uh, so, the next thing I want to show you is, uh, uh, well, honestly, I believe probably the most, um, uh, so I just closed that position, probably the most powerful tool you'll find in uh, the Forex market at the moment, and that is called uh, the Autochartist Risk Calculator, and I'll show you what that's about. So, listen carefully. <laughs> um, I won't say it twice, but you can watch the recording. <laughs> Many traders, when they trade, um, doesn't matter what they use, whether they use technical chart patterns, RSIs, Bollinger Bands, whatever it is, you have to set a stop loss and a take profit. And people struggle with that. And MetaTrader does a really bad job of assisting you in setting those uh, levels. Um, what this risk calculator does is that it allows you to know how much money you've actually risked on the trade. Not pips, but money. Let's just say that I'm trading, what is this? Euro NZD right now. I want to trade long, right? That means I want to buy it with a stop loss at this orange level. So I set my stop loss at this orange level. And that's the orange line that came up when I brought up my risk calculator. So Autochartus is telling me that this is 74 pips away. Okay, now I have a $50,000 account and let's say I wanna risk $1,000 on my position. So what, met, so what the risk calculator tells me is that if I wanna go long at the current spot price and I wanna set my stop loss at this level here and risk $1,000, my position size should be 2.08. That's my volume. So let's see what that looks like. Uh, a stop loss at that price, a volume at 2.08, and I will click buy at market. So I've, trade, I've traded a 74 pip uh, uh, stop loss position on Euro NZD H1 chart, and I've risked $1,000 on my position. Obviously, there could be slippage involved. But now check this out. Now, I decide I'm going to trade, um, uh, let's see, USD JPY, where the pip value is completely different um, from uh, Euro NZD, right? Let's say now I want to trade uh, USD J 
JPY. Let's look at, uh, okay, let's look at this. Uh, I want to set my, I want to go uh, long and set my stop loss at this level. So now I want to trade $1,000. I want to risk $1,000. And notice how it's giving me a totally different number, right? I can trade the H1 chart if I wanted to. Let's just say I want to trade the H1 chart long and set my stop level over here and, and risk $1,000. It's setting my volume to 1.42. Let's see what that looks like when I actually set my position. I would set 1.42. I set my stop loss at this price over here and I click buy at market. Notice what I've done. I've traded two different instruments on two different time frames, and yet, and the stop level, uh, the, the risk in pips was different, and yet I'm risking in both of those situations, I'm risking $1,000. This is extremely powerful because most traders, what they do to set their risk management is they say, okay, I only want to risk $1,000. Now, I try to work out what my pip value is for USDJPY, and I then move my stop loss uh, uh, level up and down to know how much money I've risked. But that's the wrong way of doing it. You should always set your stop level where you think there is a turning point in the market, right? You can see I chose a nice little turning point and then change your position size to manage your risk, right? It's extremely, extremely powerful. And we'll, we'll in fact do, I think our third webinar is specifically around risk management. And you can do lots of sophisticated things. So you can use this risk calculator um, to set uh, positions on pending orders, right? I'm gonna close those two positions uh, and I'll show you what that looks like. So let's just say, uh, we'll go to back to the H1 chart and I wanna set uh, a custom entry price um, and a pending order. So what I'm gonna do is, I want to trade um, uh, this, uh, I want to trade USD JPY. I want to enter at this level and I want to set a stop loss at that level, okay? So now it's going to take my risk between my green line and the orange and the, and the, and the orange line, right? So what I would do is I would set a pending order um, let's say a pending order. I would do a buy stop, a buy stop order. I would set my uh, stop loss at this level over here, my entry price at this level over here, and I need to set my position size to be 3.43. Oh, I wonder why it uh, uh, changed my to zero, and I go place. So now I've set a pending order in the market, and I know that. Even if I hit my stop loss, I've only risked $1,000 on my uh, position. Again, the idea is knowing how much money you've risked, uh, not uh, how many pips you've risked, because that is really a, a useless measure uh, 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 to go by. Now, I want to show you one more feature of this, um, of this uh, little tool which is this thing called expected price range movements. Okay. Um, as you may or may not know, the price of, or the volatility of instruments changes throughout the trading day. Uh, during the European session, or let's say specifically the London Open or the uh, New York Open, uh, there's a lot of volatility during, um, uh, let's say, lunchtime or midday in London or lunchtime in the US, the price, uh, really the volatility decreases. And so some people have this notion of, oh, you choose a stop loss, 20 pips, and that's what you trade with, 20 pips stop loss or a 30 pips stop loss or 10 pips stop loss. That is, people that tell you that don't know what they're talking about, okay? Because you need to adjust your, your trading strategy with market volatility. So when you click this um, show expected trading ranges, Auto Charter shows you the expected trading ranges for this instrument for the next hour, four hours, and 24 hours. And as the trading day goes by, the distances between those uh, uh, in those uh, regions actually increases and decreases 
with the market volatility. So uh, you could have, uh, you know, let's say, uh, uh, I don't know, 50 or 60 pips between these two lines right now, because the US is going to open very soon. Uh, uh, let's say while the US is sleeping, this could go down to uh, 20 pips or 30 pips. And so you have an idea of where you're setting your stop loss or take profit levels. So when you're uh, trading and you want to set your stop loss levels, uh, let's say over here, let's say I'm trading short. I know that this price is going to hit within the next one hour, but I'm planning to take my kids to school now, right? Because it's close to 8 a.m. in the morning and I have to get in my car, drive to school. This is not where I should be setting my stop loss because it's going to knock me out. If the market just moves just a little bit, right? A hair, uh, uh, I'm going to get knocked out and I don't want to do that. I want to be in front of my computer too, so I can take, pos uh, take a position. So I know that I shouldn't be, according to my lifestyle, I shouldn't be setting my uh, stop loss within this region over here. I won't be able to react to it, right? I should be setting it here or here, right? Maybe I want to set a long-term position greater than a day, right? This is where I should be setting it, right? So the whole objective of this tool is to allow you to understand how the price is going to move uh, within the next kind of hour, four hours, and 24 hours, so you can uh, you can uh, gauge uh, when to expect a possible hit of your of your stop loss. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, uh, so also to give you an idea, just to come back to the mobile application, um, this information is actually contained in uh, the mobile app too. So if you're uh, trading the mobile application and you want to see what's going on, uh, you can actually click into a, an opportunity and towards the bottom, you can look at the volatility analysis of that. Okay, so you can see for the next uh, um, uh, uh, it, it, you know, you can see where to expect a GBP ord to trade in the next one hour, four hour, or or 24 hours, right? Uh, now, um, there was a question from Sindisiwe. I hope I pronounced that uh, correctly. Yes, if you, when you download the MT4 plugin uh, on, on the Tickmo website, you get the risk calculator as well as the expert advisor. So remember the two different use cases. The expert advisor, that's used to, to find entries into the market. The risk calculator is used uh, to provide you with um, uh, this risk calculator a tool we've been talking about now to manage your risk using uh, dollars. Right? Uh, again, by the way, it will adjust itself. So for example, if you have a Euro account or a CAD account, it will adjust to be a CAD depending on your account size. So you always know what the risk you're taking based on your account uh, currency. Uh, right, it's not always necessarily uh, US dollars, um, so it will ad adjust itself. Okay, um, so I've got a few questions uh, uh, coming up on my screen. I have spoken for uh, close on 45 minutes, so let's see what questions we've got. Uh, okay, so we have something uh, from uh, Bart. Um, uh, Uh, okay, so Bart is asking, he's asking about these, um, the uh, past performance, uh, the past performance stat, stats. So Bart is saying, is it possible to look back 10 years on a daily time frame? Um, so, so Bart, there isn't an ability to, to customize uh, that. Uh, however, I, I don't see a reason why uh, we can't just send you that information. Um, if you send an email to uh, support at um, uh, support at autochartist.com and ask us for the stats uh, in a spreadsheet, I'm pretty sure we can send that to you. I'm not sure if we have 10. Uh, in fact, I don't think we have 10 years. I think we only keep a rolling six months or 12 months. Uh, but if you like, we can send you what we have in a spreadsheet, then you can pivot the thing uh, the way you like it if you're if you're happy to comfortable using Excel, uh, but the tool itself doesn't have the ability to look for specific cases. I hope that answers your your question. Uh, but happy to share the raw raw data with you. We hide nothing. As you can see here, we we tell you what we've done well on, what we've done badly on. Uh, we we don't try to hide anything. We like uh, we we actually pride ourselves on transparency. 
Okay, so with that, uh, we had a bit of a, a slow start. Um, I hope I've given you a nice overview of the product. Uh, let me stop sharing my screen and uh, reshare my video so I can I can see all of you and say goodbye. There I am again. Hello. Uh, so uh, again, we've got two more webinars to follow. The first one is going to be around uh, choosing which trade setups to 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 um, uh, to follow. Uh, using the auto charters tool and the 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 last webinar in the series is going to be around um the uh, risk management okay and i hope you've learned something again this is a tool free for you uh uh no one's trying to sell you anything uh, if you've got a live account go and use it i hope you enjoy using it um and um we'll see you i guess in the next uh, week or two for the next session i hope you join us then thanks everybody have a good day